Welcome back. This is Fantastic Contraptions 2. I'm Cynic Placebo, and Fantastic Contraptions 1 I did the other day. I got it on the Steam Summer Sale. 2 is basically the same. It has a one more mechanic, which is magnets. You have blue and red magnets, which you can use to repel and attract one another. This one, this level is called Catch, so let's uh, check this out and see what it does. Again, I'm going to kind of skip the uh, the building level on these because we've already done a bunch of that, and so instead of uh, having to show you you know, me building it, I'm going to try to just skip that for the most part so you can just see the final result. So, this trial run should work right here, and then I will give this a pause, and I will jump on to the next level. I'll catch you in a minute. Alright, here's the next level. Looks a little crazy at first uh, start, but this little point right here means that this is actually going to hinge. The whole platform is going to move, so it's really more about timing than anything. You just got to try to get things to go over in time. So, that you see, I didn't quite make it there, right? But if we just, you know, kind of lift it up and scooch it over, now it'll take a little bit longer to get over the hill. Oh, <laughs> took a little bit too long. So let's uh, move this down just a little bit and try again. See if we can get over the hill just in time. Uh, again, I was trying to skip this and show you. I had it so close last time, right before I hit record, that I was like, oh, this will just take a second. But clearly uh, didn't go quite as intended. It happens sometimes in this game. Oh, you can see it's just not quite getting there in time, right? So we could try to go just a little quicker and then have it get stuck, and then I think that'll work. There we go. And now we'll go on to the next level, and I will let you know when I've got something built up. You can see that this is a little bit more complex. we got to get this to here. I don't know what these are going to do, but we'll figure that out in a minute, and I'll show you when I've got a machine that works. All right, so as you can see, these actually up here are magnets, and so I've used magnets of opposite charge to attract to them to keep me pinned to the ceiling. So let's see what we got here. And then I've just got a wheel to help, you know, propel me forward. Not exactly sure what that blue wheel at the top was supposed to do, but, you know, I didn't need it, so don't use it. All right, let's actually look back at the menu and see if there's uh, some of these crazy ones. Let's jump way ahead to some of the insane ones, like a uh, rope trick. That sounds like a fun one. Oh, right. So this looks very crazy. We're going to have to climb up the rope somehow to get up to here. The rope is already in place for us, but we can only build inside this box. So let's see what we can do. And again, I will uh, come back to this once I have a solution. See you in a second. All right, this is now my best solution, but let's uh, hit start. You're going to see this one's going to take a little time. just shows you that sometimes brute force can get there. Now, I'm sure that there are more elegant solutions. Initially, I was trying to make the rope wrap around onto itself, but I was, I was struggling to get it because it would get gummed up just like it is there. But when I do this, you know, I have enough wheels climbing that it can kind of pull the other ones loose, and so it doesn't get gummed up, and it's able to get there. But again, it really struggles to fight against that gravity to climb that rope. I had to put all those little teeth on the edges of the wheels to help it uh, go. And then the magnets there are to help pull it in so that the uh, wheels stay tucked in tight to the rope because I was having a hard time getting it to stay there. But, you know, eventually it pulls it up there. It's a, a strong effort, but it gets there. It's a brute force. All right. So let's go back to the menu again because, again, I, I just love to see some of the crazy things you have to do to try to to get these to go. Let's uh, vertigo. That sounds like a fun one. So this one, if we look at it, uh, you'll see, I mean, there's a access point here. So I'll be curious to see what that does. Well, let's hit start and see what that does. Oh, so it just looks like that is loose somehow. So it could be knocked to the left. So let's see if we can figure out how to make that fall. And I will rejoin you when I have a solution. All right, my solution here is a little sloppy, but I'm using this to launch these guys up here, and then I'm using this crazy contraption to open this gate and let it close again when it gets heavy enough. So those magnets pop up there. They are attracted to these red magnets, and so they're pulling this guy off the edge for me. It's just wide enough to open the gap, and then... Hopefully, it's heavy enough that it pulls everything into the goal. <laughs> Victory. That was a hard one. Some of these are crazy, especially where you have op opposing mo movement, right? Where you have to go forward and then you have to come back. Makes things really crazy. All right, I'm not going to solve this level, but I just wanted to show you what it was. So let's just hit start and see what happens. So it looks like uh, these are almost like uh, wheels, but the goal is way up here. So it's the opposite direction. So basically, you have to fight against all of this because that block is going to fly like that. And so you have to push this guy back up the hill. But since you have to build down here, it's going to take a long time before uh, your creation can get up to it, which means that this guy is going to have inertia all the way down. You're, you're, he's going to 
he's going to have that inertia going down the hill. And so you'll have to catch him and push him back up the hill. So again, if you've got a kid that's mechanically minded, or if you're mechanically minded yourself, this is an excellent game to teach all sorts of uh, interesting educational pieces. And so I highly encourage Fantastic Contraptions. If you buy it uh, right now on Steam, it's $4.99 for Fantastic Contraptions Classic 1 and 2. This was 2. Uh, 1 had the soundtrack in the background, and so if you didn't see that one, you can go on my channel and check out Fantastic Contraptions 1. But until next time, I've been Cynic Plissy Book. Go play some games, especially some fun educational ones. Catch you later. Bye.